feels better than this. Nothing feels better. Nothing feels better. So why I started this jump? Why did I start this weight loss journey for the eighth time again? You know. And the reason is always the same every time I start is that I'm tired of being fat. I'm tired. Like, I'm tired of not being able to find clothes that fit, not feeling as like myself in anything, or just tired of being tired of doing the the normal day-to-day -day things. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I literally... I just I'm, I'm I was tired you know just as I, I'm tired now of you know still at the same weight for two months but the thing is is that those times is that I was doing it for other people this time I'm doing it for me and so and this is why I feel like this time I'm going to be more successful because it's for me and not for no one else you know And as far back as I can remember, I've always been chunky. You know, I got bullied when I was younger in school. I got kicked out of school for fighting the bullies. So, <laughs> um, so, and then it's like, um, I don't know. Like, I, I, I was tired. I'm tired. You know, everyone knows me as Big Cam. I want people to know me as Cameron. You know, I don't want people to look at me and, and, and just say, damn, she's big as fuck, she's pretty, or she funny as fuck. You know, I ain't fuck, I ain't, I ain't want to talk with you before, or I ain't want to chill with you before because I thought you were so mean. Because when I'm, like, uh, when I'm, okay, so not, okay, let me make this make sense. So whenever I reach a higher weight than I've ever reached before, I can tell by my attitude. And I don't know if anyone else can tell that, but I know I become very, very mean. And it's like, damn, like, it's no one else's fault that I'm fat. This is my fault, you know? And so, like, I, I, I'm, I, I'm tired. I was tired. And I'm still going to be tired until I reach the weight that I want to reach. I want to be. And it's not like there's a magic number. You know, I am 5'11", so I don't, I don't see myself under 200 pounds. Um, but I, I just know that once I reach the 200s, then I know exactly what number I want to get to based off how I look and feel in my clothing. But um, as I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm tall and people look at me, oh, and I tell them, oh, I'm, I'm big. Like, or people be like, you're not that big, girl. Like, and I'm, no, bitch, this is 520 pounds. You know, damn, like, no, or this is 400 something pounds. Damn, yeah, that damn, emphasizing on that damn is just, but no, I don't, I don't look my weight but I feel every single pound of this you know and so like I, I, I'm I, I'm tired I was tired and I'm still going to be tired until I reach the weight that I want to reach I want to be and it's not like there's a magic number you know I am 5'11 so I don't I don't see myself under 200 pounds um, but I, I just know that once I reach the 200s then I know exactly what number I want to get to based off how I look and feel in my clothing but um as I'm saying like I'm, I'm tall and people look at me oh and I tell them oh I'm I'm big like or people be like you're not that big girl like and I'm no bitch this is 520 pounds you know damn like no or this is 400 something pounds damn yeah that damn emphasizing on that damn is just but no, I don't, I don't look my weight, but I feel every single pound of this, you know? So, yeah, so, um, I started a year ago and I started doing like those fad diets, you know, the HCG, the, um, keto and those didn't work for me. Like the HCG helped me lose hella inches, like 80 inches, no lie. Um, but the slight moment I quit taking those, those inches came, came back. And it's like, um, hmm, this, I know this is not long term because I don't see me stabbing myself in the fucking navel for the rest of my life. And then keto, like keto didn't work for me. Like my mind wasn't ready for keto on the fact that, hell, I can eat a big ass fucking burger with bacon and cheese and all this bullshit and I can lose weight. No, it made me gain weight because my mind, I mentally wasn't ready. 
you know what I'm saying? For anything like that. I'm not, I wasn't mentally strong, I should say, um, for keto. And then plus with keto, I don't eat red meat. I don't eat red meat. And I stopped eating red meat four years ago, four or five years, no, four years ago, because it wasn't digesting right in my stomach. And it really made me feel horrible. And so um, I stopped, I stopped eating it. You know, I go back every once in a while and I feel the exact same way I felt when I first started cutting it out. And it just gives me a constant reminder, like, you need to leave this shit alone, you know? So keto wasn't good for me. HCG wasn't good for me. Um, and now, you know, that I'm doing things naturally because with those, you have to follow a protocol. You have to follow a diet. You have to follow certain meal plans. And me, I'm not, I'm not that type of person where you give me a structure or you give me a schedule of things. I'm not going to be successful because I don't want to follow it. Like Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers never worked for me growing up because I don't like to count my calories. I don't like to sit down and, um, I don't, not that I don't like to count my calories. I don't like, bitch, I don't like to, um, write down every. So yeah, so it's like Weight Watchers wasn't good for me on the fact that I had to write down everything I was eating. That's like my fitness pal, all those apps where I have to jot down what I'm eating. I never stay consistent with those because shit, some days I don't eat. Some days I eat things and it's like, okay, damn, I forgot to log it, you know, or damn, I forgot. And I don't want that constant thing in my head. So I'm just, uh, I don't know. Like I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, excuse me, but, um, Another reason why previous workout, I mean, previous attempts to lose weight never really worked for me on the fact that my mind was so stuck on comparing myself to others, you know, oh, well, shit, he lost 80 pounds in a, in a month. Let me see if I can do that. And I will only lose 17, you know, and it's like I was so quick to compare and do everything everyone else was doing. And it wasn't it wasn't good for me. And that's another reason why I'd be on here stating that, you know, you you're not don't compare yourself to the next person because I may lose 10 pounds this week. and You may only lose three or vice versa. And it's not that you did anything wrong. It's just the fact that our bodies are different. And that's one thing I didn't know as I was when I was younger. So, like, I would do these crazy like binge working out and meal preps and, and I wasn't successful. I wasn't successful because my mind really wasn't in it for me it was to compare myself to the other person that was doing it so you know and once I stopped and it took me up until when I started this go around in November to realize whatever anybody else is doing it's not going to work for me I have to do oh, my eyes are really really blurry today um it has to be done it has to be me it has to come from is this something I really really want to do or is this so it literally took me all my youth to, you know, it's different lessons that I had to learn. And, you know, um, me being 29, like, I don't want to struggle with this when I'm 30. I don't want to be dealing with this same stuff when I'm 30 because I want to be able to enjoy my 30s because I haven't been able to enjoy my 20s, you know. And it's 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 sad. And it's sad to see that. You know, little kids nowadays are morbidly obese on the fact that their parents are morbidly obese, you know, or, you know, their parents don't really care about. So, so no, it's like it, it, it sickens me because if you're you being an overweight adult and then you're having children and, you're, you know, I want kids one day. I want kids and I don't want to be that morbidly obese parent and who allows my child to overeat and eat all whatever it wants to eat and then he they he or she lives an unhealthy um youth and then an adolescent and then a you know i don't want that because i know how i felt growing up i know how i felt when you know people tease me or i couldn't dress as pretty as the other girls on the fact that what i saw wasn't in my size or and i never understood why i couldn't wear that or why i couldn't dress or why it was always an issue when it came to you know shopping for me you know so i don't see why people allow their kids to to be overweight you know and and and, and live that struggle and that i don't want that you know i don't want to i don't want to have a family a morbidly obese oh, morbidly obese family i don't want that you know so i want to be able to eat right with the normal things that we eat but but as i stated i will be 30 in may 
and of course I won't be um I won't be my 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 ideal weight by <laughs> by May but um come again when I'm 31 I won't be struggling with weight loss anymore you know and that's something that I set a goal for myself you know and we have to set those goals realistic goals um in order for us to achieve them you know so that's my goal by the time I'm 31 I will not be stressing and worrying about my weight it will be other things I hopefully will be a mother by then I hopefully you know will be in my ideal career job you know what I'm saying so so a little fun facts about me um since this, this is a get to know me um I can speak Spanish well I can understand Spanish and I can speak the basics I can understand and speak very minimum German I um I hope one day that I'm going to um actually sit, take take the classes to become fluent in both of them because Rosetta Stone only can do so much like I need to learn the alphabet I need to learn you know I don't know but I know that I want to get fluent in those two languages and more you know so right now like I've been knowing Spanish I took Spanish in high school but moving to Texas is something that you I don't say you have to learn but it's something that it's it's good to communicate with anybody you come and encounter with and it can be people that look like me or darker and they're you know Dominican and they speak Spanish so and so you you, you learn you learn their language it's not always about you know um, they're in America so they didn't learn how to speak English no like I feel like if you want to hold a conversation with someone speak their language as well you know we don't always have to succumb to um, being mean or saying things that you know that's very very hurtful but i i took i picked up spanish it felt like i'm spitting but that's the lip gloss oh no it's the cold air from the air conditioner i'm tripping anyway <laughs> so i picked up spanish and then a friend of uh not a friend of mine but you know someone i used to work with she taught me a little german and i started picking it up on my own and um yeah like i i love i love i love the language it's a very hard language but it's very simple it's, it's I love the simplicity of it but it's it's hard to say it like um shun it's beautiful you know so it's just like damn I gotta say all that just to say beautiful but it's to me I love it it's, it's a and then um another fun fact about me I don't think this is really a fun fact I just think this is just um a little fun a little fact so Izzy my uh girl dog the one that's white and polka dotty she saved my life. I found Izzy um, on Christmas Day, 2017. Why are you driving so slow? And um, five day later, five days later, she saved my life. So I had a house fire. If you guys have been following me from the beginning, you know that I lost everything in a fire December 31st, 2017. And Izzy is the reason why I am still here to this day. Because if it wasn't for her waking me up with her barking, I wouldn't be here. You know, so Izzy is my Izzy is my my hero. She's she saved me. She did. That's my baby. Another fun fact is that me and my mom graduated with honors together from college. And that was my first time ever going to college. And um, she wanted to to come along. And we did it together. We took the the the, the, the took up the same courses, um, and we graduated with honors. I think we graduated with three point eight or three point nine. We were like valedictorian of our uh, class. I'm gonna try to find those photos for you. I graduated with my mom. Um, what else can I? Oh, I am petrified of heights. Even though I'm fucking six foot tall, I am terrified. I oh my god like I will ride roller coasters and stuff like that don't get me wrong but it takes someone to be like man quit bitching now quit being a chicken <laughs> and I'm like man ain't no bitching me so I you know tend to just get on the roller coaster and I kid you not on the way up to the roller coaster I'm sneezing I'm passing gas like I'm literally like dying on the inside because I'm so afraid but um but no so I'm, a, I'm afraid of heights but I want to still do high shit if that make any sense like I still want to zip line I still want to ride a hot air balloon I um 
And I want to skydive one day. Like, I want to I want to skydive one day. I want to face my fears. I really do. I want to face my fears. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Terrified of heights, man.